welcome to How to Do Stuff Good. I'm Piper, this is Ollie. Hi. And Emmy. Hello. Today's all about viral hacks. And you know, for me, it's good to keep your hands sanitized and it's hey, really... Ollie, bro, bro, bro. It's yeah. viral hacks, as in hacks that went viral on the internet, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. Now it's time to see if these viral hacks hack it. Woo! Or whack it. Bum, bum. Bum. Let's see what's coming up. And one for a chop up? No. No? no. Oh. What am I going to do with all these sticky notes? You have to stick around. I'm whipping up the simplest viral dessert you've ever seen. Will my completely recycled, eco-friendly shoes be a winner or a binner? My hack has been driving the internet wild, and I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm whipping up a social media sensation in the kitchen. This is going to be so good. I can't wait to see which hacks hack it and whack it. And, Emmy, I hear you're about to stack it. Yes, I am, in the tastiest way possible, with tortillas to the Hackmobile. Hang on, we have a Hackmobile? Don't ask me. Hey, team. First up is one of the most viral cooking hacks I've ever seen. Seriously, this thing is everywhere. But does it work? Is it worth doing? I'm making tortilla stacks. Here's what you'll need. Tortillas, refried beans, rice, chicken, salsa, guacamole, cheese, olive oil, and of course, clean hands. The magic of this hack is all in the folding. So you get your tortilla, and you make a small slip from the middle of the tortilla, just down to the bottom. Be careful cutting it though. You don't want to cut yourself. Then you need your refried beans into the bottom corner, just like that. And then you're gonna get your rice and put it into the next. Not too much, otherwise you won't be able to fold it. Add your meat, I'm using chicken. And in the final corner, let's put some salsa, some guac, and some cheese. I might have loaded this one up a bit too much, but let's see if it folds. And then we get one, Bit, and we fold it on top of the other, just like that. Fold that side onto the next side, and then we fold that side onto the last side. Here we go. This is my tortilla stack. The final step is to brush it with some olive oil. It's gonna make it nice and crispy and golden brown. Flip it over and do the other side. It's ready for the sandwich press. Have an adult put it into the sandwich press for you. Thank you. And in a few moments, it's gonna be delicious. Ah. Is it ready yet? Nope. Oh. It looks pretty easy, but will this viral hack stack up? Okay, team, taste test time. Mmm. It was simple, quick, easy, and it worked. You can make any type of tortilla stack you want. Dessert, breakfast, or maybe even lunch like me. This definitely deserves I have to Bye, guys. I've got hundreds of these sticky notes. So what's the viral hack we're testing? Take a look at this. They look amazing. But will they work? Or is this some sort of internet trickery? Let's find out. All you need is lots of sticky notes. The more, the merrier. Grab a sticky note, stick it down, and then grab another one and put it down in the opposite direction. Just keep doing it for as long as you want. This might get boring. See, we're already getting a zigzag pattern here. Whoa, okay, let's change the color up. We'll add some pink now. This has taken forever, but finally, I think I'm done. This is so much fun. You can try it with heaps of different colors, like these ones too. It looks awesome. I want to try it on the step and see if it really does the slinky thing. Yeah, you can do it, come on. Kind of. <laughs> That's so good. Go orange, go orange. Yes! Yes, that's so good. 
We can definitely call this a viral win. Oh, what's that? Remember to feed the cat. I forgot to feed the cat! Mr Whiskers! You can do so much with a plastic bottle, but just because you can, does that mean you should? Today, I'm going to put a viral hack to the test, but I have a funny feeling it might not be putting my best foot forward. Yes, that's right. Bottle shoes. I mean, bottle shoes. I'm really trying hard to figure out why we'd even need bottle shoes. Maybe you needed to dash across some boiling hot sand because you left your shoes in the back of the car. Sand, hot sand, hot sand. I don't know, but it's viral, so let's test it out. Literally, all you have to do is squish the bottle down with your foot and then slip your foot under the label. Don't forget to take the lid off first. Looks like it's working. Squish it down to it's straight flat, just like your thumbs would be. Yep, just got to wriggle it under for the tape. Moment of truth. It fits! I better do the other shoe now so I don't look even stupider. <laughs> Gets me every time. Keep forgetting to take the lid off. Yes, it fits! They look pretty snazzy. <laughs> wow, there you go. Bottle shoes. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll know what they'll say, but let's go to the den and test it out. Come on. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm nearly there. Oh, are you OK there, Papa? I have made you special plastic bottle shoes. You know you want to try them. Um, OK. Yes. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, all right. OK, let's give them a go. Whoa, they're yep. quite unsteady. I couldn't hear you. They're a little bit loud. What's the point of these? Like, where would you need yeah. these? You could run across the beach if it's really hot sand. That's uh, true. That's a, that's a pro. So, hack it. Whack it. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. It's a whack. It's a whack. Fair enough. But they're great for dance shoes. Yeah. Shall we? Woo! Yeah. Let's get back to the vile hacks. Yeah! Can you really peel a hard boiled egg without really peeling it? Check this out. That looks too good to be true. So today, we're going to try it out. Here's what you'll need to have a crack at this viral egg hack. A bowl of ice, some boiled eggs, and tongs. Once your egg is boiled, grab your egg and immediately put it in some ice cold water. Let it sit until it's cool. Once the egg is cool, grab it out and tap each end of it. Then you're gonna peel a bit off both ends so that you have enough space to blow. This part is egg excellent. Now I'm gonna blow it as hard as I can to get the egg out. Maybe I'll try at the other end. I think I just cracked the whole egg. Yeah! I didn't actually think this was gonna work, but... I guess it is excellent after all. My favorite viral video is like cats getting scared by cucumbers. Cucumber! Ah! Fails. Fails are always funny. But try not to laugh are definitely my favorite viral videos. A man on a really important video call with a news reporter and his daughters just start marching in and then their mum like full on comes crawling in and like takes them out of the room, like, fully snatching them. It's so funny. This dog falling down the stairs. 
I feel bad for laughing, but it's really funny. You always hear people say, nothing worth having comes easy. Well, I say, they're wrong. There's this viral recipe for a chocolate mousse that only uses two ingredients, chocolate and water. But how can that even work? But it's on the internet, so it must be true. When has the internet ever lied? Here's what you'll need. Dark chocolate, water, ice. That's all you need. So, grab your chocolate, pour in your water, and then microwave until the chocolate melts. It's bow. Mix it until it's nice and smooth. So, you got your big bowl with ice in it, and then you have your smaller bowl on it, and you just pour in your lovely going to be chocolate mousse. And now it's time to whisk. Now, I could persist with this, but I said this was meant to be easy. Oh, that's more my style. <laughs> Keep whisking until the chocolate gets nice and thick. That looks ready. Pour it into a bowl and you'll be good as gold. Oh, nice and runny. So it looks a little bit runny, but we can, we can pop it in the fridge and see what happens. After an hour in the fridge, check it out. Oh, just dropped the spit. Mmm. I actually haven't had much chocolate mousse in my time. That's actually very good. Nice and smooth. And my handiwork is very good. Yeah, it's actually very good. No, I wasn't lying. <laughs> so there's at least one thing on the internet that you can totally trust. Whew, that was a bit too easy. Bye. Okay, time to put another viral hack to the test. And where has this one been all my life? These jumping beans had the internet jumping for joy. Is it winner winner beans for dinner? Or is this hack a real has been? Only one way to find out. Here's what you'll need. Tin foil from Easter eggs, marbles, a glue stick, and a plastic container. Grab some tin foil and a marble. Wrap the tin foil around your finger and find where you want to glue it. Pop a bit of glue on the end. Stick your finger in, wrap it up again, and glue it and press really tightly so that it will stick. Now, stick your marble in, roll the marble down to one end, push the tin foil so it's like the shape of the marble. Get your marble to the other side, like this, and just gently cover it. So there, it looks like this. So this is your little jumping bean. It looks messy, but don't worry, I've got a trick. Grab your plastic container, pop your bean inside, and just shake it all around. Shaking it smoothens the edges. Shake, 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 shake. Hey, look at this, it looks really good. Now, let's put it to the test. Oh, I'm so excited, I hope they work. Look how cool they are. Go. Who's gonna win? See, that was fun, but now I wanna supersize it. Same theory, but it's a bocce ball inside of a cardboard tube. I hope this works. Come on, Mega Bean! All right, here goes nothing. Yes, the Mega Bean works! Hours and hours of pointless fun guarantee. Come on, beans! If I could go viral, I'd go viral for exploring a place no one has ever been before. Well, I'd really want it to be basketball or acting. Those are my two main things that I love. I would probably want it to be something I did well in, not a fail. If I did something funny, I'd like to fall off something or do something like that so people could get a laugh out of it. If I were to go viral, it would probably be for something like 
really dumb that shouldn't have gone viral, but it did. So like if I'm fighting with my siblings and there's a camera out, I'd probably like put it online and then everyone would watch it and it'd go viral. <laughs> Nothing gets the internet going like a super cute, super simple recipe. It's cloud bread. This recipe has gone super viral. All you need is egg whites, sugar, cornstarch, vinegar, food coloring, and of course, clean hands. First step is to whisk up the egg whites. Now that it's getting foamy, we're gonna add sugar in, but little bits at a time. Keep whisking until you see stiff peaks. Yeah, a lot of whisking. Let's see if it's on max. Yep, it's on max. Yep, that's ready. Now time to add the cornflour. Little bits at a time. I think that's done. Chuck your vinegar in and whisk again. You know what's ready? What well, do you can do this? Now that it's ready, I'm gonna split it into two different bowls. Now that's good, add food colouring to one of them. I'm going with blue. Only a few drops will do. This is the exact colour I wanted. On a baking tray lined with baking paper, we're going to pour our mixtures in one colour at a time. Some blue goes in, some white goes in. Shaping it into a little bit of a dome. Looking good. Ask an adult to pop it in the oven for 20 minutes. Moment of truth. Let's see if this viral sensation is a taste sensation. Looks pretty cloudy to me. Taste test. So soft. I mean, I don't know what a cloud tastes like, but if it tastes like this, I'm going to be eating some more clouds. I'm going to see why this thing went nuts on the internet. Is it a hack it or a whack it? Definitely a hack it. Pranksters, I've got a hankering for a viral prank creep. Luckily, I've got just the trick up my sleeve. Your sibling is sitting down to a lovely snack. Little do they suspect the shoulder snatch. Videos of the shoulder snatch have gone viral, but will it work for me? Only one way to find out. Here's how it's done. Take a big hoodie or sweatshirt and put it on, but leave one arm free, like this. Now connect the two sleeves by putting your hand into the other arm. Now I'm ready to attempt an over-the-shoulder snatch. Wish me luck, pranksters. I'm heading to the den! I love cupcakes. Oh, hey, team. You know, Emmy, can we have a hug? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come here, mate. Oh, my gosh, there's a bird up there. Look oh. at that bird. Oh, it's gone now. You missed oh, it. Good oh. chat. He just stole your cupcake. My, my cupcake. Oh, yeah. No, no. That was a good one. Catch it. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, see ya. For more information on how to do stuff good, search up ABC Me.